Hey, Eon here, and welcome back to Building LibreFlip. Today we're gonna build the touchscreen into the electronic housing and mount some plugs to this page-turning open-source book scanner. I'm at the Fab Lab. After some sandblasting, this is uh, what we got, and I'm quite happy with this. Thanks, Fab Lab. That was awesome. In the very front is the wooden UI plate that I laser cut. Behind it, you can see the touchscreen, and this black thing is the is the frame that covers the slit between the UI plate and the touchscreen because the touchscreen is level with the top side of the UI plate. This is the power plug, all the necessary screws, washers and the network plug, and you can also see the transparent 3D printed special washers that have an odd height so the touchscreen is flush with the UI plate. This is fresh from the laser cutter and the last step is to sink these holes so we can use the wood screws to mount it on the frame right there. Let's see if this fits. I haven't yet mounted the touchscreen because I wanted to make sure that I don't damage it accidentally while pre-drilling and screwing these screws. But now I want to take it all apart again for preparing of the holes over here for the network and the power plug. I should have thought of this earlier and include that in the plans, but actually I need to take off this part as well, uh, so it's easier to cut and drill these two holes for the two plugs. Now it should just fall off. Yep. We just found out that there is a bit of a problem. This is the network plug that I bought, and this kind of plug isn't meant to be mounted in such a thick piece like the outside wall of the electronics compartment. Uh, we're going to make a fix with a CNC mill, but this is not very DIY friendly as not everyone has a CNC mill, and I'll try to find a better product and update the plans accordingly. Let's mount this piece on the CNC. I can't put anything within 15 millimeters of this back edge. All the mounting, all the mounted parts have to start inside of that because there is a back wall connecting here. I set up a rectangle and this edge is this edge and this edge is this edge and I want to mount the power plug at the very right position and the network plug next to it and I'll update the plans with what I'm doing right now here. 27 by 31. 26 by 31. Perfect. Supporting the file with the coordinate systems and now I think I just need to set the z-axis height. There is a tiny bit left over. It's we can cut that with a knife. Let's see if it fits. It's really tight. Let's continue and see if the other one fits. Yes, very nice. To solve the issue, this is now cut out to the exactly same shape as this frame, so it just barely doesn't fall through. And to now mount it, Suski came up with the idea of cutting out a piece from this plastic that has this size 
and then make a hole in the middle for the plug, and that way the hole, the plug would be mounted nicely with the second frame on the wood here. The next step is to mount the round cutout on this piece and because I don't know where it actually ended up we're gonna use a bit of a trick. Let's drop this in here. Let's put this on here. Now I'll flip it around carefully. Hopefully I don't drop all the plastics. No, I drop all the plastics. Let's fix this in place with some tape. Okay. Turn it around. And now I can mark exactly where the cutout needs to be. Okay, let's test it. Yeah, I should have thought of that. It's the outside, not the inside that need to be cut out. Okay, let's put this together. This is the inside. And now the cover. This goes in here. Yes. Perfect. The whole project, I'm rushing along and I try to put it all together and assemble everything and see if it works so the software development can really go to the next stage. Uh, I will take it all apart for painting later on, but all the sub-assemblies will be assembled already. So, for example, I won't take apart this unit anymore. I will just loosen these two screws, take it out, paint the whole thing and put it back in. Let's put this back together. Fits nice and snug. Great. Let's continue with the touchscreen. Now the touchscreen goes on top of all this, like this. Okay. Now I need these washers. So I drew this specific assembly over six months ago. So I actually have the plans here for reference, what's the correct order. Okay, let's flip it around and tighten these. Okay, this looks good. You might ask why this button is still missing. This is because it's currently with Segfold, who is soldering the electronics and he needs the button to test the electronics. But I'll put it in later on, and it's just a small button that already fits. I tested that off camera. In the next episode, I will be working on the suction box that is in the middle of here, and that's the thing that moves up and down, and that actually turns the pages. Thanks for watching! And if you just made your way into this series, thanks for checking this out. This is just one episode of a longer series where I show all the steps to make LibreFlip, the Patreon ebook scanner. During this series, I will publish all plans for you to download. I am grateful for the support of Wikimedia Germany. If you like to learn more about this project, please check out the project website. The link is in the description. If you can't wait for the next episode, 
Please consider to subscribe to this channel and to follow this project on Twitter. Stay tuned and have a good day.